of you crying Brother, brother, brother There's far too many of you dying You know we've got to find a way Just right, he but bats his left. How'd that happen? Um, it's kind of natural. My mom does everything left handed, <laughs> and um, you know, my dad was at spring training or something. I think she just handed me the bat uh, to grab it this way and just followed her since. Took off. Now, you, you know, Darren, you, you've been around the greatest ball players of all time. I mean, your father was talking to one time with your father, he played with Satchel Page, he mm -hmm. played with you there with Hank Aaron. Mm -hmm. And growing up, I'm sure you probably you, you used to see your father, you know, as a regular father. When when did it hit you that, you know, this is going to be the, the Hall of Fame? Right? Uh, I I probably say uh, when I when I got a little older, I guess I, I understood uh, like how hard it was to, to be at this level or have success at this level. And um, I don't know. As time goes on, I just have an appreciation of mm. all the years he put in and. Um, you know, I mean, he's the greatest. And, and the conversations at in dinner time and stuff like that. You know, when you took baseball seriously, you know what? I want to make a living out of this. How was that? Was he all in? Yeah, I mean, he, he really just said whatever um, you know I found in my heart. He never, you know, kind of pushed me or forced me to play. He kind of let me find the love of the game for myself, and um, I think it, it it paid off tremendous. Well, well everybody knows that you love the game, yeah, man. Yeah. You know. Who, who did you like when you were growing up? Uh, yeah. Up? Because, you, uh, like I said, you've been around the best, man. Yeah. It's a hard truth. Who'd you um, like? Um, Kenny Lofton was, was one of my favorites. Kenny Lofton. Um, you know, Brandon Phillips, I spent a lot of time with him in Cincinnati. At, second I, base. That's I, why you second yeah, base? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still talk to him uh, now. I mean, pretty regularly. Um, I'm trying to think, you know, Moises Alou. Um, you know, I mean, Harper. I mean, it's You, you it's got a an all-star yeah. team in there. Now, yeah. let me, why number 10? Why not number 12? Um, I, I I wear twelve sometimes. They, they kind of just gave me number ten. Uh, you I, yeah, so so I, I I like it though. But uh, I'm usually number two, and, and my dad's number twelve. Now, when when you were playing the minor league mm -hmm. and stuff like that, I'm sure there's a lot of pressure mm -hmm. because everybody says, "Oh, man, that's Dusty's son," and I'm sure that you wanted to, you know, be your own, make make your own legacy. Was it tough coming up the road? Yeah, that, that's a good question, man. Um, probably like when I was younger in high school or in college, you know, I, I grew up in the same area as my dad, so uh, everybody literally knew who I was or who my dad was. So um, I think it kind of took me a little longer to get comfortable with my own skin, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel good with myself and where I am. Is it tough? Is it tougher for a, for a guy that, you know, with, that his father in major leagues and everybody knows who he is? Is it tough? You think it's a little tougher than just a regular person that nobody knows and can, can do whatever you want? Yeah, I, I uh, you know, obviously I have a lot of benefits and I'm, I'm grateful for the people I've met because of him. But, um, you know, the expectation for me is, is higher, uh, whether it's fair or not at a young age. And uh, I know that just comes along with it. And, um, mm. you know, you got to you gotta have some, some mental toughness and, and some confidence. Now, how do you block all of that? I mean, at your age, man, you, you know, it's got to be tough when somebody says, oh, you know, you're a scrub and all that. Mm -hmm. You know how things are, yeah. man. No, I, mean, I heard it all, man, by now. Uh, I, like I said, I think I, I dealt with it really young, and um, kind of those moments prepared me for now. So, um, you know, it doesn't really matter what people say or, you know, what they think. Uh, you know, it's just me now, and what I handle. And the reason why I ask you is because a lot of times I've spoken to your father mm -hmm. about the trials and tribulations that he went. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that that conversation has been brought up and then you say, wow, man, you know, what I'm going through yeah. is nothing. Yeah. The, well, was that, that's got to be a touching moment, you know, when you when you know what baseball is about, the game that you love, is, 
they saw him point to you and say, man, did he, did he really go through all that? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, like you said, I mean, he tells me a story and uh, it kind of puts things into perspective for me. You know, I have a lot to be grateful for. And, um, you know, everybody, you know, on all those teams who paved the way long before me. So, um, you know, I just learned from history and uh, appreciate them. I'm sure you probably would say, wow, I can't, I can't believe he's probably joking around or, or he's stretching it because one time he was telling me some, some stories that I had like, nah, man, I can't be. Yeah. No, I mean, he'll, he'll tell it like it is. I mean, um, you know, he's one of the most honest people I know, good or bad, whether it hurts your feelings or not. Uh, so, you know, I know everything he tells me is, is you know, legit and, um, you know, part of his story. So it's pretty cool. Now, grow up, coming into the, the major leagues, I'm sure that you must have been who was happier, him or you? Because you probably said, man, I've been, been wanting to get to the major yeah. leagues since day one, since day one when I was born. And he probably must have been the happiest man. Probably. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I don't know. My mom might might be up there too with uh, mm. with that. I, I called her and she was screaming and stuff. So uh, I think they were just, you know, really proud. Obviously, they know how, how much uh, work it takes to get to this point. So um, I'm glad they were there to see. And is he giving you any uh, advice, you know, how to conduct yourself as, as a ball player as to, just to be there? Um, not, not so much directly. I think uh, I, I learned a lot from, you know, coming to the park with him. And, um, you know, a lot of this stuff isn't new to me on my first time going through it. So uh, I think that definitely helps. Man, listen, you know what, man? It's, it's an honor to me, man, because you, I, I, I loved your father as much as a man could love yeah, another man. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Uh, there's something going on when he's not in the game. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to be real, be honest with you. I was going to quit baseball, covering sports, wow. because your father wasn't around anymore. Wow. Then they brought Ron Washington. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah, that's my name. And then I said, you know what, I'm going to give it one more oh, year. That's cool. Then I saw you and come we up, ran man, into each other. And then yeah, I yeah. said, you know what, man, I'm going to wait next year that's because awesome. I want to cover that's his awesome. stuff. I like got to give me one. So, yeah. you know what, man, I, I, like I tell you, man, I'm... I'm happy that you're here, brother. Yeah, no, I'm I appreciate happy you're here that. because there's a lot of, you know, a lot of me I see. In yeah, you, no, man. no. The I love for the game and the, how much you appreciate and the respect you have for your father, yes, man. Sir. That's yeah. so nice. Awesome. And I got to give him credit because he did the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> and your mom. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm sure a lot of, she, people, she, don't, she she might call me, a lot of people don't give credit to your mom. And yeah. they're the ones that put the, all the for work. Sure, you know, sure. they're the ones that take you to the park and all that stuff. They never get enough credit, Exactly, exactly. But, brother, listen, man, like I told you, man, you say hello to Brandon Phillips. I will. But it's in, I'm, I'm, you don't know. I'm telling you, you don't know how, how honest I am. Just to be the same here. I appreciate it, man. Mother, mother, there's too many of you crying. Hi, my name is Aranci. I want you to subscribe to Les Inca Kina. That's fine.